Ladies and gents, boys and girls, how are we all doing? Monday? Remember, never miss a Monday. So, what we have in store for you, if you haven't seen Sugar Ward already, is going to be every two minutes for 12 minutes. So, for those of you who aren't regular maths, that is six sets. In each set, you're going to complete 15 ground up to overhead, followed by 30 double unders, followed by 15 ground to overhead. In regards to some of our substitutes for our double unders, if we haven't got access to those double unders, you can double the amount and do singles, or you can keep the number the same and perform our penguin taps or our star jumps or jumping jacks, whatever you call them. Let's just have a quick look once again at our ground to overhead. This is obviously like a hinging movement, so you're going to have your feet under your hips. You're going to hinge back, you're going to drive hard through the legs and extend that plate overhead. In that finished position, my arms are extended, my head is through the window, I'm squeezing my tummy and squeezing my back. So there we have it, that's our workout team. In regards to our warm up today, we're going to go every minute on the minute for nine minutes. In minute one, you're going to do 45 seconds of skipping. If you haven't got a rope, just use that, it's going to get your heart rate up, get moving for 45 seconds. On minute two, we're going to do 10 good mornings and 10 hollow rocks. In regards to our good morning, you can do this with a band or you can just do this under body weight. You can go feet under your hips, you can go hands on hips, soft knee, and you send your bum back, shoulders forward. When you feel that stretch in the back of the legs, stand tall and squeeze your bum. In that same minute, once you've done 10 good mornings, we're going to get 10 hollow rocks in. In regards to our hollow rocks, we can be in a full hollow position. Like so. We're trying to minimize the movement between our shoulders and our hips. We can make that a bit easier by going with one leg extended. And reduce that difficulty once again in a tucked position. Like so. Find something that's going to be appropriate for you. In minute three, we're going to do 30 seconds of a push up into a downward dog. What that's going to look like, I'm going to obviously be. In my push up position, you can do this off your knees if you need to. I'm going to go chest to floor, back up as I then push back through. So, there we have your warm up and your workout. For your finisher today, you're going to complete three sets. You're going to get 10 single leg blue bridge on the right side, followed by 10 single leg on the left side, and then 40 seconds of a glute bridge, maximum glute bridge reps. Okay, <laughs> so the last one we're going to do is we're going to be on the floor. We're going to have one leg extended as I then bridge up, squeeze my bum at the top, swap legs, repeat, so then you're going to get 40 seconds where you're going to achieve as many glute bridges as you can. If you struggle with that single leg, what I'd recommend you do is you do 20 repetitions of a two-legged glute bridge and then in that 40 seconds where you would get as many reps as possible, do 40 seconds of a hold at the top. So you'll bridge up and you'll squeeze your bum for 40 seconds as opposed to doing the single leg variation into the bilateral variation. So, there we have it team, we have your warm-up, we have your workout and we have your finisher. Remember, never miss a Monday and we will see you on Shabbat.